Researchers here in Texas have discovered a new species of dinosaur from fossils found at Big Bend National Park. A Texas Tech University professor found the bones in the 1980s. KXN's Jacqueline Powell explains why it took 35 years to decide that this is indeed an undiscovered species. In this humble building, tucked away on UT's research campus, Wrong one. sit one and a half million fossils just waiting to be studied. These, in particular, waited decades. Just getting the bones cleaned up enough for study sometimes can take years or even a decade. Then it took years of research, but all that hard work just paid off. So the animal that was just published this week is, uh, is a new genus and species of a, of a dinosaur called a hadrosaur, which people might know is like a duck-billed dinosaur. Matthew Brown directs UT's Paleontology Laboratory, which holds one of the largest fossil collections in the country. And what we see here are a couple of recognizable bones from the face. So this is the... Uh, this is one of the, the, the bones from the right cheek, and you can actually see the teeth uh, exposed here. One clue gave it away that this is a species scientists had never seen before. They've got um, a, a shovel chin. Very commonly, these, these dinosaurs have uh, a, a wide, flat beak, kind of more like a duck, whereas in, in this specimen, the way the lower jaws uh, go together here, it's, it kind of makes more of a scoop or a shovel, and that's, that's uh, what gave this animal uh, its name and how they helped identify it as a new genus. This discovery suggests there might have been more primitive species here in Texas than paleontologists previously thought, opening up new research opportunities across the Southwest. The specimen gets published, and, um, and that's not the end of the story for this. This, this particular animal, people are going to come, uh, continue coming to, to study this thing. This is a drawing from the National Park Service of what the dinosaur would have looked like, but it was a lot bigger than this. Researchers tell us that it stood about 8 to 10 feet tall at its hip, which would be as high as about the top of this video wall. And then lengthwise, it was 20 to 30 feet long, which we don't even have the room here in the studio to show you. But from where I'm standing here, walking over toward this camera, this is only about half of the length of how long that dinosaur was, Robert Sidney. He was a big guy. I would say so. It must be a long <laughs> tail. That's a lot of room. Jackie, yeah. thank you. Thanks, Jackie.